kind of a purposeful evolution, which can be the more difficult part. Um, and for some institutions, uh, it just, just doesn't happen, so that uh, it can be a danger to the viability of the institution. Um, but you know, it's it's uh, so, so when it, when, it, when it, uh, an institution becomes more organic, it, it, this kind of deliberation becomes an ongoing part of it, and it, there can be some joy in it because you get to to reimagine yourself, you get to reimagine um, how the, the, the I would I hope that the, that this church can continue to be a community um, that that surrounds people with. Uh, love and welcome and acceptance and hope um, and some attempt to meet some needs in the community, the wider community or the world. Coming to first church, they'll be um, learning about the path that their father and I are on. Um, they'll be learning about um, this tradition that I was raised in, that they're being raised in, a liberal, progressive Christian tradition. Um, and I, my hope would be that they would carry that on in whatever way feels authentic. Uh, personally, I'm very involved, I was very involved with the drop Center, and that will always have a special place in my heart. I, I watched it grow from, you know, just a little cereal and sandwiches in the basement to what it is now, which is an incredible program, which is expanding very rapidly. But the other side of it is we all have a responsibility. Uh, if we're going to be a part of an organization, we at least need to think through these things about why we connect with each other. What is it about us that will be intriguing to me tomorrow and next year? Um, uh, because you know, static organizations can be you know it's it's the um, it's the tried and true. You know, this is well, this is the way we've always done it, and this is what brought me in the door first. So we don't want to change that. Uh, that's kind of a a tricky uh, conundrum to, uh, I, would, I would call it a trap of sorts, um, that uh, that can result in kind of a stasis. Can, um, but I think maybe addressing some more of the causation of homelessness as well as um, do something to fight the, uh, the growing number of mentally ill people on the street. Um, and like something to help them out because they don't have any money. Um, to reach out and, and welcome and, and bring people in. Um, there's a sense that we've been through a lot uh, and some of it has been good, some of it's been very painful. Um, it's a little concerning to see that numbers are down if we look at numbers, but I don't think the spirit is down. I love that. Not only for my children, but just for the other children in this church, to be surrounded by this love, um, and for the parents also to, for us to feel that there's a support of like-minded people, and we have similar um, values and passions about what we hope um, for the world and for the future, because our children are the future. And when...